Today we are going to be creating a sarcophagus drawing inspired by ancient Egyptian art. What you have at your tables already is a half of a sarcophagus and I would just want you to put that next to you. You can refer to yours but I'm also going to show you um, a direct drawing and we can draw this together on your large tan paper. First things first, we need to put our name and our class on the back of your tan paper. We're going to turn our paper and fold it long ways. This is called hot dog style because it looks like a hot dog bun when you're done. Just line up your two corners together. Crease it in the middle first. That's always the best thing to do. Then crease the top, the bottom. And if it's not perfect, like mine's not lined up perfectly, it's pretty close though. All right, now what we're going to do is we're gonna draw this half of a sarcophagus on this half of the paper, um, but we're gonna make it a little bit larger because this is a smaller paper. Starting down here at the bottom, you can see that it has a flat edge and then it starts to scoop. And as it goes, it goes a little bit wider towards the top. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Starting at the very bottom of your paper, we're gonna make a nice straight line. Scoop it, go in. And curve it all the way up, almost like a vase is what it looks like. Okay, as soon as you're finished with that, we're gonna look at the next portion, which would be like the shoulder drape area. It kind of curves in, but it stops because of the um, hair or the face mask. There's a line that comes around, so we're gonna make our line come around. We're gonna look at this part. It kind of juts out right there, and then bring it up. And then the very last thing it does is curve right at the top. We're gonna bring the face mask down the way that it looks. I find it um, helpful to kind of put my finger on things when I'm drawing. If you mess up, I mess up too. That's why we're gonna have our erasers with us today. I always like to draw over it first before I continue. Okay, we've reached the part where there's a face there. So we're gonna curve that face around. We have almost like a little ear. And then they would usually have a beard. So this is like half of a beard right there. And then the last thing is the edge of that shoulder drape. So I kind of draw an imaginary line and bring it across just like that. Any little changes that you need to make, you can make at the end. So that's kind of what our um, sarcophagus top looks like and our sarcophagus bottom, and all I did was follow this half sheet of paper. What we're gonna do now is um, go over your pencil lines and you're gonna push pretty hard. Normally in the art room I tell you to draw light till you get it right, which you did. You already drew it light. Now we need to simply go over it and make those nice dark pencil lines. And the reason we did that is because we want those lines to transfer to the other side. So we're gonna open up our picture and by folding it again, now our sarcophagus is kind of sandwiched in here. Using the handles of the scissor, not the blades of the scissors, the handles of the scissors, what we're gonna do now is scratch all over the paper. When you do this, you can hear that it's kind of loud. You want to push really hard. Make sure you go over the whole paper. Nice little small sections at a time. I like to turn my paper and now go the opposite way. Now, it is really, really, really light, but you can see the other half of the sarcophagus. All we need to do now is trace over those lines. If there's any parts that you can't see really well, just sandwich it again and scratch that specific spot. Now what you have is a finished sarcophagus. That's what the top looks like, and that's what the bottom looks like. 
Now we're just gonna use this paper as a straight edge. It has a nice straight edge to it. We wanna make kind of a rectangle down the middle of the sarcophagus because you're gonna be using hieroglyphics to write your own name. So that crease is kind of your midway point. If you just come over a little bit, make sure it has a straight edge to it. Like, that doesn't look very straight, but, but this does. And you wanna leave a good distance in there. So I would bring the worksheet just a little bit into the paper. Last thing we need to use our paper for as a straight edge um, is the beard and also the headdress area. Those were usually done with stripes. So again, we're gonna just use this paper as a straight edge, make sure it's straight to the top of the paper. And we're gonna take our pencil and simply glide it along the edge of the page. The stripes were kind of skinny, um, so don't get them too far apart, but don't make them too thin either because you're gonna have to color those in later. Make sure you work around the face section. So pick up your pencil and work around those areas, continuing to make your thin stripes on the headdress and the beard. Now we're gonna move on and do the same thing to the beard. The next thing we're gonna draw with our pencils today uh, is the hieroglyphics for your sarcophagus. I've given you this worksheet to look at, and what you're gonna look for is the letters of your name. So, um, for instance, the letter A is actually a picture of a vulture. Um, so this was the Egyptian writing that they used called hieroglyphics, and this is how we're gonna follow it to do our names as well. And letter B would be a picture of a leg and so forth. So you're gonna find the letters of your name, you're gonna draw the image that goes with it. Now, my name for you guys is Mrs. K. So I'm gonna be drawing an owl for the M, a mouth for the R, a cloth for the S, and then lastly, a cup for the K. You need to figure out what hieroglyphics are part of your name and use those instead. I have a little space left I think it looks too empty and so there is a man and woman uh, figure over here for the word man or woman and so since I'm a woman I'm gonna go ahead and draw that last hieroglyphic underneath so if you have a little extra space on the bottom of yours after you finish your name now if you don't have any space that's fine but if you do have space like me then if you're a boy you can do the man symbol and if you're a girl you can do the woman symbol like I'm going to do last thing we're going to use our pencils for is the facial features and so what we're going to do is draw just kind of a L shaped for his nose and then for our mouth it can just be like the mouth symbol was for the hieroglyphics looks like that so for the eyes it's just a frown face and a smile face that makes an oval same thing on the other side and then they usually did some ornamentation um, which means decoration around their eyes so we're gonna do the same thing draw a little eyelid and a little eye right inside last thing we're gonna finish off with are two frown faces for the eyebrows and that's how you're gonna add your facial features to your uh, sarcophagus 
Okay, the next step of this process is to use marker. And what I want you to do is choose just one marker for right now for the headdress. I'm gonna go ahead and choose blue. And all we're doing with this is tracing right over the pencil lines. And we're only doing the headdress to start off with. Snap that cap, give it a nap. We're gonna pick a second color to do the bottom part of the sarcophagus. We want the hieroglyphics to stand out, so we're gonna do a different color of marker for each hieroglyphic that you created for your name. I'm gonna go back up to the face. Um, a lot of times they would have black makeup or lines around their face. So I'm actually gonna go back through and retrace the eyes with a black. And I want you to do the same. Now what we're simply going to do is add some patterns to our sarcophagus body only from this line down. So a good artist always draws with pencil first. What we're gonna be doing for our designs today is basically just creating a pattern. Um, so we're going to start off with some stripes and this time, unlike the head dress, you don't want your stripes to be very skinny. So I'm only gonna end up adding either four or five lines to each side. So far I have one, two, three, and now I'm gonna go four and five. In between those lines, now we're gonna create some different designs and it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna create some zigzags. So when you do these, I want you to go zig, zag, zig, zag, all the way from the bottom of the line to the top of the line. Okay. In the next one, I'm gonna add diagonal stripes. and we could add horizontal stripes. And you can either repeat some of these same things or come up with your own pattern, but make sure they're nice large shapes because you're gonna have to end up coloring these in with crayon. This time we're gonna go ahead and trace those with markers as well. You can either choose to trace everything in one color or you kind of have six different rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. You could trace each row with a different color for a total of six. You could also repeat what you've done. So you did zigzag here. Both zigzags could be the same color of marker. Both diagonals could be the same color of marker and your third marker could be in the middle. And that's what it looks like after you've traced the sarcophagus designs with your markers. Snap that cap and give it a nap.